In this lesson, we are going to update Next Tailwind Amazon course to Next.js version 13 and update Next off. We are going to use the documentation in the Next.js to upgrading new features like image, link, Next off. But for migrating from page to app, we're gonna do it after stabling this feature. Also, we have errors in next of Heroku icon and other packages that gets updated. So I'm going to fix those error in this video too. Here is the plan. First of all, we need to update all packages. To do that, we need to install npm check updates. Open your project and open a new terminal. Then install globally npm check packages if you get error prefix sudo enter your admin password and run this command again next step is running ncu-u by running this command all packages inside package.json will be updated to the latest version here is the report and it's time to install them run npm install to install new packages if you run the project now npm run dev and open it in the terminal first of all we get the mongodb connection error let's fix it create.env file and make sure that you have mongodb uri to a mongodb connection and sandbox and paypal client id to your client id then restart the project and you will get the first error it's about hero i it's about hero icons and we need to use the version 2 of search icon based on the update manual that i have provided here to fix hero icons we need to go to the three files card layout and search and replace this one with the version 2 of hero icons go to layout component replace search icon with this one next one is in cart.js find x circle icon and replace it with this one inside cart.js replace this with the new Heroku icon, Hero icon. And the last one is in the search.js. Do the same in the search.js, replace X circle icon with the new one. Okay, the error is gone. And the next error that we get here is about having anchor inside link. To do that, we are using the guide provided inside the Next.js and what we're gonna do is to use this code mode for links. Let us start by copying this line, opening a new terminal and running it using dash dash force. Do this command inside the pages folder, okay? 10 is okay, 28 on modified. So we need to fix them. Let's go and search for link like this and make sure that there is no anchor there. Move the rest from here and get rid of anchor in this file let's go for others here we have anchor to move class name to the parent component and get rid of anchor like this one move it to the parent get rid of anchor and save the code for this, 
apply this link it's about layout let's go for product item for product item get rid of anchor here and here and save the code for cart it's done for index.js it's done for login it's already done by code mode order history and we need to check them one by one to make sure there is no anchor to make sure that we don't have just search for this one yeah that's okay let's check the result refresh uh -huh. this time we have products i'm going to see the sample products and go back and refresh okay that's it about the code one for updating links and it's time to go for the next one which is next images the first command is this one open terminal and run this to convert next image to the next legacy and run this one to use the new version of next image in your project so if we search for next slash image like here we are using the latest version of next image in next.js okay this part is done we do not use a script or font components so we do not have any update for them the next main issue is fixing next off error if we check the project let's say i'm trying to log in with admin one two six and click on login first of all i have an issue in the ui let's fix the issue in the ui go to layout and find the wrapper for cart set class name to flex item center and set z index to 10 uh, the issue has been fixed and also for the search box in the form class name get rid of w full full width awesome here is the result so we have cart and john in one line and when click on it there is no issue in showing the menu if i try to go to profile and update my profile i'm getting signed in required error but i'm already logged in let's fix this issue it's because of next of update first of all we need to go dot env file and add this stuff and make sure that you have next auth url secret and next public app url to these values in the production in your versal you need to have this stuff but the value should be your domain of your project next step is replacing get session with get token because of update in next auth 4 we do not have access to get session in the backend let us start by going to the first one update.js in auth and remove and use get token from next auth jwt and instead of get session use get token and it should be user not session user and there is no need to have this line that's it let's test it i'm getting login error so i need to login again go to the profile and click on and enter a new password and click on update profile oh it should be six 
and click on update profile. Aha, uh -huh. this time it worked. If I change my email and other stuff and click on update, as you see, it's applied. And if I log out and log in with the new one, it works. We need to do this fix in all APIs that uses get session. So what I'm gonna do is to search for get session. I have 12 results and replace them like what I did for update.js. In the update.js, I have this line. So I'm using replace. And for summary, I have this one. And click on replace all to replace all of them. Also for this line, copy this and go to the update and use this and paste this one and replace all of them. So the only thing that remain is searching for session. There is no need to have anything here and go to the API part, not pages part like this one. Here we have error. So get rid of console instead of session. We only have user user and replace session.user with user. We need to do it for others. User, user and user. User, user, user. You know, admin products, I'm doing this. No need to have this one for index. There is no need to have this line for the user. Do the same for authentication, and we need to apply it to all other. Okay, here is okay. Next auth is okay. For the PayPal, check user. For history, check user. There is no need to have this line. For API order, get rid of this. Pay, check user. And this one is for pages. And the last one is in the order, API order ID. Great. Let's close all of them. Refresh the website. And let's try a order creation. Check out, enter password. PayPal and place order. Uh -huh. It is successfully created right here. Let's try search for, let's say, shirt. I have result here. Let's go to the admin dashboard. Here I have chart. Go to orders, product, edit a product, update. Let's make it free shirt one and update. It works in the home page. It is applied. Good. We successfully implemented updating project to the next JS version 13. But for app router, as I said before, we need to wait for the update for next JS to make app router stable. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.